hitting up for what happens next at Miami Day's popular Matheson Hammock Park West. County commissioners debate plans to change access for a nature preserve and if people can bring in their dogs. CBS 4's Babeth Yates has the update. Well, more than 7,000 people have signed a petition about access to this park. But after this week's committee meeting, the Department of Environmental Resource Management will decide what happens next. We have to do everything in our power to preserve and restore these properties. Miami Day Commissioner Raquel Regalado is referring to her resolution that unanimously passed committee. It allows the Department of Environmental Resource Management to have a say in what happens on environmentally protected land, which includes Matheson Park, a popular location for pet owners. This is not a dog park. It's an environmentally protected botanical reserve. I am not going to make a determination as to whether dogs impact that land or not. We're asking Durham to make an objective determination. Regalado adds in 1989, residents voted on an ad valorem tax to acquire and preserve environmentally sensitive land, now referred to as eel properties. On this map, the area is highlighted in the top box. The property has now been merged with the original Matheson Hammock Park deeded to the county in the 30s. But Regalado says since the property was not policed, residents began using it as they wished, which includes having unleashed dogs roaming the preserve. And now a group of residents called the Friends of Matheson Hammock Park West says efforts are being made to push them out. There's a billboard that says, you know, the, the boardwalk's starting, this is all happening, we would do public records request. Okay, great, show me the plans. All well, the plans aren't done yet. Okay, well, show me how much it's going to cost. Oh, we don't know yet. Attorney David Winker, who represents the group, says with little to no information from the county, park access has declined. That includes the West Gate being shut down to non disabled residents. And the group says they don't believe the concern is about the environment, but instead the fact that the homeowners who live close by don't want them around. Neighbors here in Hammocks Lakes that were advocating not to reopen this entrance at all. But all of a sudden they're concerned about the environment when they proposed a board boardwalk over sensitive land that's not necessary, instead of having the entrance here, forcing everybody to go through a more environmentally centric entrance to bring people through. Commissioner Regalado says the current improvement projects for the park are on hold until after Durham returns your assessment. Then they will have public hearings and vote. Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News, tonight.